There's this wonderful quote that I always uh, go back to by a, a scholar named Ira Shore, and he says that hope is challenging the actual in the name of the possible. I just think it's the most bold intervention in the landscape of higher education. It is the most disruptive um, because it asks us to think differently than we think and to see differently than we do. How do we encourage rigorous, well-designed experiential learning and work integrated learning so that our students are graduating completely equipped to manage a rapidly changing job market? So the question is, what does higher education look like in 10 years is also, what does the world look like in the next 10 years? And for me, the key is, is to listen intently to this generation, to allow them to steer and to guide the vision and to listen and to build things around that. Right? There's this great stat that 37% of Generation Z uh, people are already owning a business. They're already entrepreneurs. 37%. How do we harness that energy? How do we harness creative and imaginative thinking? How do we build design thinking into our programs, particularly around the humanities? How do we encourage rigorous, well-designed experiential learning and work integrated learning so that our students are graduating completely equipped to manage a rapidly changing job market? So a lot of universities don't have all of the high impact practices because they require lots of faculty and students, and but we actually do it already. We do it really intentionally because we're small institutions. I think we're much better situated to amplify high impact practices. And for me, that's, that is the future of higher education.